हेलो एवरीवन आई आरती बजाज फैकल्टी इन एम डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम टेक्निया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एडवांस स्टडीज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन सी कैरेक्टर सेट सी इट डज नॉट यूज नॉट रिक्वायर द यूज ऑफ एवरी कैरेक्टर फाउंड ऑन अ मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर की द ओनली कैरेक्टर रिक्वायर्ड बाय द सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज आर A to Z in capital as well as small and the numeric digits as well as some special symbols. So the form of a C program, all C program will consist of at least one function. But it is usual to write a C program that comprises of several functions. The only function that has to be present in the function called main. C makes use of only 32 keywords which combine with the formal syntax of the form of a C programming language like all the keywords are written in lower case like the unix uses upper case and the lower case takes to mean different things a keyword may not be used for any other purpose for example a variable cannot be called auto so Let's discuss the layout of a C program. Here you can see in the diagram the whole layout of a C program. How to write a C program structure? So next discuss a variable. Variable is a data name that may be used to store a data value. Conversely, a variable is named a location in the memory that is used to hold a value that can be modified by the program. so a variable may take different values at different times during the execution of the program all variables must be declared before they can be used in any language the type of the variable that it can support depend on the type of the constant that it can handle that mean an integer value can hold only an integer constant a real variable can hold only a real constant and a character value can hold only a character constant the general form of the declaration is define the type like integer float character whatsoever it is as well as the name of the variables like v1 v2 v3 and so on here type must be a valid data type plus any modifier and v1 v2 v3 and the vn are the variable names there are five basic data types associated with the variable the first one is integer integer as the name defines it contains a whole number the second is float floating point value that is a number with a fractional part the third is double a double precision of the floating point value the fourth one is character which contains a single character and the fifth one is void void means the valueless special purpose type we have some declaration like int i j l with the short int with simple variable unsigned int because the int have different types like the signed and the unsigned values variables are declared in three basic places like inside function in the definition of the function and outside of all the functions these are local variables formal parameters and the global variables respectively a variable that are not initialized have a known values before the first assignment is made of them so we have some rules for constructing the variable name the first one is they must begin with a letter of the english alphabet or underscore second rule a variable name is any combination of 1 to 31 alphabets digits or underscore however only the first eight characters are treated as significant the third rule upper case and the lower case are significant that is the variable salary is not same as the salary it should not be the keyword no special symbol other than an underscore can be used in the variable name white spaces are not allowed as only the first eight characters are recognized by a compiler then the two names average height and the average weight mean the same thing to the compiler 
So, let's discuss one by one. The first one is integer number variable. The first type of the variable we need to know about is of the class type int integer number variable. The first type of the variable we need to know about is of class type int short for the integer. An int variable can store a value in the range of 32,768 to 32,767. You can think of it as a largest positive or the negative number. No fractional part is allowed. To declare an int, you use the instruction like int name of the variable. For example, int a. It declares that you want to create an int variable called a. The second is decimal number variables or it is called float number variable. As described above, an integer variable has no fractional part. Integer variable tend to be used for counting whereas real number are used in arithmetic operations. C uses one of the two keywords to declare variable that is to be associated with a decimal number like the float and the double. They are each offer a different level of precision as like the float. A float or the floating point number has about 7 digits of the precision and a float takes 4 bytes to store the data. Second is double. A double or the double precision number has about 13 digits of the precision and a double takes 8 bytes to store. We can write like float name of the variable like float total. So total is a floating point variable. Next is character variable. C only has a concept of numbers and the characters. It very often come as a surprise to some programmers who learned a beginner language such as basic that C has no understanding of the strings but a string is only an array of characters and C have a concept of array. To declare a variable of type character, we use the keyword char, a single character stored in one byte. For example, char c. To assign or store a character value in a char data type is easy as a character variable is just a symbol enclosed by the single codes. For example, if c is a char variable to store the letter a in it using the statement like c equals to a in single codes. So, that's all about the variables, that's all about the data types used in C language. I hope you understand the topic. Thank you, thank you very much.